Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up PTZ preset stores. Now what this means is whenever you're using a remote controlled PTZ camera, you can set up different shots and then recall those shots with just a touch of a button. Let's take a look. So here we are in our TC1 interface and the first thing I've got to do is get a PTZ camera in here. So I'll double click in input number two and from my source selector, select my NewTek NDI camera, which I currently have pointed at my main man Tron over here in my training office. So the next thing we got to do is just make sure that we have our PTZ control set up properly and we can access that by clicking the gear icon under our program window here and select the PTZ control tab. Now you have different PTZ uh, connection types for every input on your TriCaster. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with NDI since I'm using one of our cameras, but if you have any other cameras, you can select the different protocols from this list here. All right, and now the next thing we need to do is go to our PTZ tab here and select the camera that we're going to use, which is input number two. And so you'll see here a variety of different uh, control options here. So we have 15 different bins for different snapshots that we can store our PTZ presets on. Also our positioner and our zoom tool and focus as well. So let's go ahead and we'll take a snapshot of this shot here into number one and then let's play a little hide and seek with all my other action figure friends that I have in my studio. Where could they be? There's one. And let's make sure that we got our manual focus on. There we go. And take a snapshot of that. And let's find one of our other friends here. Oh, there we go. There's Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. Let's center him up just a tad. And take a snapshot of him. And then pan over just a little bit more. Where's another one here? Playing hide and seek. There he is. There's my main man, Krang, here. Let's zoom in on him for a bit. All right and we'll take a snapshot onto number four here. Now, normally what you would have to do is reposition your camera so you can get these shots each time. But since we have snapshots saved of them, all we gotta do is click on them and it goes back to all the settings that we have. So as you can see, PTZ preset stores are a great way to save your camera shots so that you can recall them later on in your production. Now, if you like this tutorial, but you want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration where I'll show you the ins and outs of our TriCaster systems. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.